Hello everybody, this is Gamer Gar. Welcome to a collaboration between myself and Emma Lucian. Hello! So we are doing the Color Wheel Challenge today. You may already be familiar with Gamer Gar's video on it. This time we're going to have a little twist though, and we're also going to spin for the season. So I have a color spinner right here. It's got winter, summer, spring and fall loaded inside it. Let's give it a spin to see what season we're going to land on. All right, and there you have it, everyone. It is fall. That means we're going to do our color picker challenge in fall. So let's head on over to Emma and let's see what color she gets. That was a good one. Okay. Um, I've got my color wheel here, which has a variety of actual colors on it. Let's see what we get. Please not, please not use this color. <laughs> we got purple. Nice. There's, I think there's a lot we can do with purple, actually. That's very interesting now. That was a good one. I'm really happy with that. <laughs> yeah, cool. Okay. Well, what do you say we dive straight into the challenge? Let's see how we did with this color picker collaboration. I'm ready. Cozy with a touch of chaos. That is the essence of Emolution. Emma primarily does Stardew Valley content, but occasionally dips outside of the pool and does other games, such as Dinkum and Coral Island. Emma does lots of really cool live streams, not to mention her cool 100 day videos. This collaboration was recorded by both me and Emma, so if you want to check out this video from her point of view, check out her channel. So we just start with 500 gold. The first thing we're going to do is go to Pierre and purchase purple crops from him. So I'm going to get some grapes, I'm going to get some amaranth, and I'm going to try to get as much eggplant seeds as I can. So we're just going to plant these and we are going to build up our farm from here. So we can also get money from doing special artist quests, which is really nice as well. So Emma is just creating a character at the moment and while she's doing that, I'm just holding up the ground, clearing some space, getting ready to put down some lovely crops. Once I put down the crops, I'm just going to water them up here so our co-op adventure can begin. So what we're using here now is animation cancelling for Emma and I'm just using a regular animation <laughs> so if you see emma literally jutting around the place like a mini jet that's just animation cancelling i just don't use it at all so today is the first day and we're going to use it to maximum effect both of us go into cinder sap forest and we're going to go to west cinder sap forest now the west forest is only accessible if you have the stardew valley expanded mod and we're using that mod for this challenge so let's see what happens when we get to west cinder sap forest okay so i suppose when i say tree Go pick it up and see. Okay. So, one, two, three. Did you get it? Yeah. Hey! So both of us picked up the forest sword at the exact same time and we spent the rest of the day running around picking up forageables. If we got purple mushrooms, it was a bonus because we could sell those. So we made 750 gold at the end of today, which wasn't too bad. We could use that to purchase more crops from here to expand the farm. So the next day, it was actually a rainy day, which was great. I just started to just hoe up the ground here to make room for the new crops that we were going to get. We had 760 gold in total, and it may not sound like a lot. However, eggplant seeds were super cheap. Also, Emma picked up the special orders quest, Robin's Resource Rush, which means that we had to get a thousand pieces of wood to complete the quest for Robin. But more importantly, we were going to get a lot of gold from that. So I purchased some eggplant seeds from Pierre and we're going to spend the rest of the day, just me and Emma, cutting down some trees to see if we can complete Robin's resource rush as quickly as possible. The good news as well is that we also had access to the bathhouse. So Emma ran up to the bathhouse area to cut down trees up there and she also had animation cancelling, which means she was going to cut those down super fast. If her energy got low, she could just run into the bathhouse and reaccumulate energy, no problem at all. If my energy got low because we were playing on co-op, I just ran into bed and instead of sleeping I just waited in the bed for energy to accumulate which is a nice perk that you can get in co-op. So the next day, day number 3, we start off by watering some crops. We then decide to cut down some trees and then this happens to Emma. I just got the living hat! Oh my god, it's super oh my god. Living hat! <laughs> oh brilliant! That's the rarest hat in the game! I never got it before! Oh that's, that's the rarest hat in the game. That's hilarious! Oh my god! 
Hey, we did it. Oh, we did it. Yay. There's our reward. Are we oh, going to go get, get more eggplants? <laughs> we get I can't believe we just got the living hat. Oh, you have to put that into the video. Living hat. Oh, there's another 2,500 gold. <gasps> 5,000 nice. gold, but it's Wednesday. <laughs> we can't buy crops off Pierre because it's Wednesday. Pierre is closed. But we'll buy wait, crops wait. off him tomorrow. Yes, we'll do it tomorrow. Yeah. Um, Actually, it's only half 12. We could, we could do like, uh, we could just run into the mines. Yes, I was thinking that. I shall grab my pickaxe and some food. It's a pity the wood isn't purple. <laughs> you could just sell it. I know. <laughs> I might be able to use it for something though. I'm going to have to stop at the bathhouse on the way because I am literally on zero energy. I have a bit. I'm, just, I'm going to take, I'll take a few bits and bobs. There we go. I mean, it's okay. Oh, there's a freebie down there. It's pretty strong. Level five. Ooh, that was quick. We can probably push ten, I'd say. There, there's a ladder right where, at sort of like oh, bottom middle. I heard the sound of it. I heard the doom doom doom. <laughs> I love that sound. Me too. Oh, nice. Oh, I can't pick it up. I got it. Wait, I suppose we'll head back. And yeah. And we're going to buy tons of crap stuff here. <laughs> okay. So. Um, you're probably not going to like this. What's up? But there's 259 eggplant seeds. Oh my god! That we're gonna have to plant. Welcome to Gamer Gar's Hardcore Challenges. Hey. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> now, let's do this. Welcome to the challenge. <laughs> Probably on day four. <laughs> <laughs> the entire season of watering challenge. Oh, people are gonna. People. Like, the farm we're gonna have at the end of it is gonna look amazing, you know? Yeah. We we'll just have to, yeah. If we try and do it so we can leave a space for sprinklers, I don't mind. Okay, we can do that. Doing that and then right. once we get them, it's easy to. Right. So what I'm gonna just do a line up here. Okay. Wait, something's gone wrong. <laughs> so it's, it's this one. The hole. Don't use the hole. There we go. <laughs> it's this. It's this one. Oh, is it? It, it was. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's my fault, sorry. I'm after throwing the whole... my mistake. I'm after throwing the whole thing out. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> it's Sorted. Like a few days later. Give a gar, I'm never going to collab with you again. Ever. <laughs> it's alright, I like the challenge. Yay. My favourite part of the game, water and crops. Oh man. Right, I'm going to start over here. Alright, I'll start at the bottom. Oh, what? Nothing happened. You didn't see that. No? What happened? No, no nothing you, happened. Nope, nothing. Did, did, did you pickaxe something? <laughs> Maybe. It's okay, it happens. It happens to me all the time. <laughs> I just went to water it, but I had my axe out. Yeah, I, I, I pickaxed uh, a sweet gem berry once in, uh, when I was playing oh co-op with Pantox. Before we could use mods, she wasn't impressed. Um, yeah, that, that would be a reset. <laughs> yeah, we reset the day because we wanted to start drop. Oh, thank God, Rain. Okay. We've got the, uh, the traveling merchant. Not that that really is going to matter with 10 gold. Today sounds like a day for the old mines, all right. It does. This is a lot of rocks, I'm gonna... Yeah. Ooh, nice. Aha! Nice one. Yes! <laughs> nice! Oh, oh god, we're getting so lucky today. Hey! <laughs> now we're on to the nightmare floors. The ten levels of difficulty. Oh, I hate this! And I, I, I've, I've, my energy is zero, just, just you know, energy. Oh, it's ten o'clock as well. Oh, nice. I thought we just keep going. To yeah. <laughs> that animation cancel is like <laughs> amazing. <laughs> it's like, just, just go. <laughs> I'm almost recovered. Okay, I'm good. Oh, fancy meeting you here at the bathhouse. <laughs> <laughs> 
Later on that day, we went into the mines to see if we could make more progress. The sooner we got down to floor 100, the better because we would have got that lovely star drop. But more importantly, we wanted the skull key to get into the skull cavern as quickly as possible so we can get that lovely purple iridium ore where we can make iridium bars because they sell for quite a lot. So the main tactic was for us to get to Skull Cavern as quickly as possible, try to get level 10 mining, get the blacksmith perk, and sell the iridium bars for as much money as possible. The next day, the trend continued, we went back into the mines. I got really lucky here and I got a slime with a star over his head. He dropped a wood mallet, which was a really nice weapon upgrade for me. During that time, Emma was up on the main floor, just smelting some bars because we also wanted to get stuff ready for sprinklers as well. So she was smelting copper bars and iron bars. I'm gonna... Oh, oh my. Oh, so satisfying. So much. Oh, oh, no ladder. Oh my god, there's so many. Yeah, I'll kill them all. Oh. Yeah, you just kind of melt through them. <laughs> Going for the crates at this point. Might as well. Might get something good. Might get a leg rod or something. Yes, that would be amazing. Okay, I am actually going to do a tad bit of fishing on this floor just for the ghost fish because the ghost fish are actually uh, really good. They've good food. Can I get Okey the ghost fish? I don't know if I can get them with level 1 fishing skill. Well, look, we're going to um, find out. <laughs> I sure. shall. Has a look. But they're oh, I got a hit anyway. Yeah, I can get ghost fish. Oh, that, yeah, that'll be it, oh, won't it? No, this is the tutorial fish. So this actually isn't the ghost fish. <laughs> Do you want to get a sunfish in? <laughs> yeah, it's on his or something. That'd be hilarious. Oh, look, I got a sunfish down here. Did you know you can get sunfish in Pro 60? <laughs> Poor lost sunfish. Okay, I got a hit. Okay, you got one? Fish. Okay. Yeah, I can get him. One, two, three. There we go. Double diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> Double diamonds that we literally can't do anything with. Triple shot expressos. Oh yeah, that's true. It's, um, a, tri it's so. a triple shot espresso for each of us. It is. Oh my god! Oh, oh god. my god! Quick, put the bomb down! Oh please! Do you have another bomb? Uh, oh no! no. <laughs> oh my god! Wait, we got some! We got some! Ever have you ever That's seen? I, I got some, but have you ever seen so much iron ever? No. Never. That was wild. <laughs> That's never happened. That was crazy though. The next day, after we finished watering all our crops, which took the majority of the day because we had so many crops, went into the mines, put down some furnaces, and then went down to progress to see if I can get to floor 100. So it was back to mining some ores, killing some skeletons. Emma, of course, would join me later once she got up from the bat house, because her energy was almost depleted from watering all the crops, and because Emma had animation cancelling, she would water roughly three to four times the crops that I would, <laughs> so she would get tired a lot faster. So do we wait for tomorrow to sell these? Yeah. Because I just hit level five. Oh, perfect. So, oh, oh yeah. you're sure to get level six, there's loads of crops left. Yes. Ooh, mushroom floor! Ooh, look at all the crates. Quick, get the crates. <laughs> go, go, go! And the purple mushrooms. I'll go for the purple mushrooms. I'll start with the ones up here. No, I can't pick it up! Damn no, it! I can't pick it up either! <gasps> what did I get rid of? No. Yes, I got one. Okay, I got the other one. Oh, nice one. Purple oh, mushrooms. Oh, lucky. <laughs> one of them was silver, so I couldn't pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very jealous of your living hat. Every time you see them, I'm like, ah, oh, I want a living hat. I'm so happy. No, I doubt. <laughs> oh no, Emma. I'll take I was not paying attention. I'll take your living hat. It will live on with me. <laughs> it's my hat. <laughs> I'll be buried with it. Oh, Linus put me up here. I'll pop over to the bathhouse. Oh, floor 87 is um, an infested floor. So by the end of that day, we sold all our crops and we made a huge profit of 18,442 gold, which was really nice. And because we made so much gold, Demetrius visited us the next day asking us which cave we wanted. So we decided to go with the mushroom cave because of the energy the mushrooms give and we can collect the mushrooms every single day. There was also a chance for the purple mushroom, which was good as well. With the money we had, both of us decided to get backpack upgrades because 
We kept throwing away little bits and bobs of resources that we needed, so the backpack upgrade was a step in the right direction. Definitely. How Say many that, did you get? Uh, 220. Oh my god. <laughs> uh... Welcome to the gamer car challenge. <laughs> what do you, so do you want me to go up and start doing mine stuff or did you want to do that or Please should we just down. both help plant? Please come down here and help me. <laughs> I'm coming, help. I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> I need help, Emma. I had someone come into a stream oh, last week and was like, oh, those 100 days things, they take so long, I estimate they would take you about 10 hours to edit. I was like, excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How, how ten dare hours, you? <laughs> 10 hours to produce, no, I was like, um, yeah, no, <laughs> excuse that is not. <laughs> <laughs> get, out, get out of my stream right now. <laughs> Literally. Oh my look god. At our, look at our giant farm. <laughs> Ah, finally, the obsidian edge. Ah, oh, an actual decent weapon. Gotta try and get through this now. Oh, the trees. Oh, oh lucky. so lucky! <laughs> <laughs> I wish I didn't eat that many mushrooms now. Yay, double star drops. I will... I'm gonna pick out all these. And this is why I don't do this when I'm streaming, because they probably just go mad. Yeah, no, heck no. It's like, welcome to the nice cozy stream everyone, I'm just gonna spend the whole day watering crops. And then someone will tell me I missed one, but you missed one. <laughs> you missed one in the corner of the guy. For the rest of the day, I focused on gold, Emma focused on iron, so we could make as many quality sprinklers as possible. Which means we didn't have to spend almost a whole day watering crops. Ooh! So, oh, we're gonna get a fairy! <gasps> Crop fairy! <laughs> yes! Fairy! Oh, nice yes, one. Yes, stop on our amaranth, yes! <laughs> yes, make the amaranth grow! Pumpkin and yams are done as well, I think we're just waiting for corn now, aren't we? Yeah. Nah. Oh, man! Rubbish train. Oh, is it? I don't know much about the trains. I do know uh, that you can get in front of it, he can kill you. Yes. <laughs> so we spent the rest of the day just making progress through the mines. We're on floor 107 at the moment, and the goal is to get down to floor 20 to get that lovely skull key for the skull cavern. If we saw ores like this, especially gold ores, we got those straight away because we still needed tons and tons of quality sprinklers. If we saw enemies, of course, we killed them too, because anything was up for grabs. Even if we got diamonds, of course, we could break those open. Triple shot expressos. If we got rubies, that meant a spicy eel. So even if it wasn't the colour purple, it still had value. So we made it down to floor 110, which was really nice. We got the space boots, which is a really nice boot upgrade for us. More defence, more immunity. That means more survivability. Day number 15, and we reached the first really nice threshold of 50,000 gold, which wasn't too bad for the first 15 days of a Stardew Valley playthrough. Now, I suppose we did start in Foss, so we had access to the special orders quests, but even so, 50,000 gold in 15 days is pretty good. I did get built from Georgia, but we also got a really cool invitation from Mayor Lewis about the festival that was happening tomorrow on the 16th. Oh, you get lucky with the staircases. Yeah. Super lucky with the staircases. <laughs> they went really well. Not so much on this floor, but oh, never mind. Scrap that. <laughs> <laughs> never mind. The luck continues. Oh, did not mean to do that. <laughs> I almost died. I was like, no, man, you're so low. <laughs> trying to kill me. It's like, you're not getting the floor 120 today. <laughs> Death by gift. Yay, Skulky. Hey. Green again, so what am I put? I'll put in a thousand this time. <sighs> yes, there we go. <laughs> hey. When I got my star drop, I then encouraged Emma to try gambling her lovely stars to see if she could win on green all the time, so she could also get the star drop quickly too, instead of fishing all day. I actually got a win for the first time in a long time. Oh, trust me. 
With my presence, you'll win every time on green. <laughs> it's orange. I'm not even joking. <laughs> Both of us eventually got the star drops that we wanted, and I even got myself a brand new hat as well. Not as good as Emma's living hat, but still, it was a nice change. So, we spent today then just looking over the farm. We had a lot of sprinklers down, but we still had to water a lot of crops. We had a lot of amaranth planted at the moment that we had to harvest. We also went back into the mines to collect more resources to make more sprinklers, just so we could automate the whole watering process, so we could spend the days doing other stuff to make as much money as possible. It was another lovely money-making day. The amaranth was ready to go, and Emma pulled up side and collected all the lovely amaranth to sell. So we were going to make a huge profit from this the next day. What were we going to do with all that money? Why unlock the desert, of course. But first, we had to upgrade to us. Oh, let's keep going. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. Go, go, go. Oh, yes. Wait. We got in. Oh, you can get in. Yes. <laughs> We've actually had a lot of... Oh, you just got a bean hot pot out of the trash can. <laughs> nice one. So, we went up to the community centre and it was time to complete some bundles for two reasons. Number one, we wanted to unlock fast travel. Number two, we wanted to get access to the desert. So the first thing we had to do was to complete a pantry bundle. So, we just went with the fall crops since we had those grown on the farm. After that, I headed down into the minecart bundles and I completed all those because we had all the resources from doing the mines. That was a very easy one to do. And last but certainly not least, we just had to complete the vault bundle. And we could do that now because of all the money we made from selling the eggplants and the amaranth. And we actually made really nice profits from selling that. So Juno was really happy with the completion of that bundle. Emma was waiting just up by the vault there. So once Emma completed that bundle, not only would we get some really nice items, such as a crystallarium, which could generate jades for staircases for us, but we could also go in into the desert. And the great thing about the desert in this file is that we're using the Stardew Valley Expanded. So the desert is actually a lot bigger. That means there'll be a lot more coconuts and even better, a lot more cactus fruits on the ground, which can give a lot of nice energy and health. So as you can see there, our money just plummeted, but it was worth it because now we could do Skull Cavern runs. We could get lovely Iridium, which is purple, of course, which we could sell. Oh, Emma, look. Ooh, look at all of them. Look, Emma. Harvest. The next day, I went down into Gunther's, and we actually had assembled all of the Dwarf Scrolls, which means we could get the Dwarf Translation Guide. And the reason why we wanted that is because we wanted to have the ability to purchase bombs off the Dwarf for really effective Skull Cavern runs. So, I then went to Gus with the money I had. Now, I was going to spend it on bombs, but I decided to spend it on salads instead. Uh, and prioritise healing over the bombs. Okay, that is as many sprinklers as we have. Oh, I mean, that's, that's quite a lot added. Yeah, we won't have to do a whole lot of water so far now, which is great. Oh yeah, level 1 farming, go me. <laughs> Ooh, Demetrius wants a super cucumber and he is offering 750 gold. Ooh. I might I will that. not be catching that. <laughs> I, I, I might try it. Hello, Clint. Thank you for my copper pickaxe. Thank you, Clint. Oh my god. Oh, they started dust sprites. Let's kill him. Oh my god. <gasps> coffee bean that we can't do anything with. Ooh, another coffee bean. On day number 21, we took all the resources we had, went to the desert, traded some stuff into the desert trader. So we had diamonds, which means we can get triple shot expressos. We had Omni Geos, which means we can get warp totems to the desert. And this was super important because this means we could start our Skull Cavern run at 6 o'clock in the morning instead of 10 o'clock. So we wouldn't have to wait around for Pam. And we also get spicy eels. We could get staircases, all the goodies. I spent the rest of the day just fishing to see if I got anything decent. I was really looking for a super cucumber, but I just couldn't have the opportunity to catch one. Perhaps my fishing level was a bit too low. Day 23 it was finally time to go into the Skull Cavern and do some runs. The goal was level 25. And just casually leaving the iron on the floor? And I'm casually picking it up. <laughs> <laughs> the loot goblin sees the loot. I cannot be stopped. You left two crates for me, thanks a million. I did. I did. <laughs> I, I thought I had to leave some behind. 
<laughs> I should consider it an honor, you know, that you left to. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I have, I have a staircase. Go. Quick. Staircase. Yay, 25. So the next day, Emma reached level 10 farming, so it was my turn now to harvest all the crops to get my farming skills up. And the reason why we decided on this is because we could choose different farming professions which would maximize our gains. We then decided to head to Skull Cavern for another nice dungeon crawl. Let's see how well we did. Do you feel like oh. if you destroyed those crates, you there could there get might a lucky be a, ring? might be a little lucky ring. Let's have a look. Yeah, yeah. No, I just got some sticks. <laughs> Okay, yeah, it looks, it's, yeah, yeah, you make a chest or something or something. Uh, well that was, for a very good luck day, that was terrible. 10,000 gold, thank 10, you. 10,000 gold! <laughs> and you got a few eggplants. Shall I start, I'm going to start smelting the two iridium bars I can make as well. Mr. Dwarf, hello Mr. Dwarf. I want to buy bombs. Right, there we go. So I got an, I got 61 bombs. We have 73 bombs at the moment. I then went into the Adventurers Guild and I had some purple items to sell. So I had some genie shoes and I also had some white essences, which I sold to Marilyn for some nice profit. That's not Skull Caverns. That is the... Uh, oh yeah, <laughs> I got I, I mixed up as well. I was following you. I was like, oh, I'm going this way. Follow Emma. Never follow me. I have a terrible sense of direction. Did you eat cake? Huh? Did you have cake? Oh, I have, yeah, I have a cake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember where I got it, but I've been, I've been hoarding it for quite some time now. <laughs> Spiral floor. <laughs> the job's the ladder. Just absolutely I've never, not. <laughs> I've never seen ladder been dropped so fast in my life. <laughs> Spiral floors and infested floors. I'll be out of there in seconds. Oh my god. What is going on? Oh! 15 levels. Oh my god, that's so rare. Never get 15 levels. Yay, floor 100. What are we going to get? I got energy tonic. I got two energy tonics. Yay. You got two, I got three. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Sneaky crab. Damn, that took a lot Ooh, of hits. Prismatic shard. <gasps> hey! There we go. We can get and we we can probably sell a galaxy sword. Oh, I know, Emma. Come on, now we we need to use that. <laughs> it's it, well, we've only got two days left, and it's purple. <gasps> oh, I got one as well. Oh yay! And there's a hole over here. Okay, I'm coming. I just need to. Uh, right, there we I'll go. protect you. I'll protect you. <laughs> I had like no space. <laughs> There's a hole over here to the All right, left. Alright, let's go, let's go. Hey! Galaxy swords. Emma found the galaxy sword. Hell yeah. Oh my god, it's so much better. We're gonna pass out here. Yep. <laughs> Oh, passed out. oh my god. Passed out in style. That's called passing out in style. It is. The next day, we decided for it to be a preparation day for a really good Skull Cavern run later on. So I started the day with just getting out of sight here, and I sighted away all the amaranth to sell. And it's going to sell for a really nice profit, which means I'll be able to buy tons of bombs off the dwarf tomorrow. We went back into the mines then, and primarily we were looking for iron ores, because we could use this to make regular bombs. The more bombs we had, the more successful the Skull Cavern run was going to be for both of us. We also had a special orders quest to kill 50 bats, so if we could do that today, that was going to give us a lot more money that we could use to get even more bombs from the Dwarf for a really good Skull Cavern run. So we were almost there with 36 out of 50 for the bats. Every ore is another bomb. Oh, I can't pick them up. You can't pick them up? Oh, okay, I'll come back. It's not a copper ore, I can't pick it up. On my way. Yay. Swept all up. <laughs> hey! Ooh, Quest complete. Oh my god, 6,000 gold. Make it 12,000. <laughs> oh, look at the money. All the bombs yeah, that we'll be able to buy. Look at all the crates. I'm going for the ores. 
Do you want me to save some crates for you? No, it's okay. You go for it. <laughs> Cop. Look at me Cop trying to be sensible and not just being a loot cop. <laughs> I've definitely twice. Let's go, let's go for it. Go. <laughs> He's off. Oh yeah, we don't need to do this anymore. <laughs> right, I've got like 44 bombs on me here. I've taken half of what's in there. I'll take the jades. Um, That's it really, isn't it? Oh, purple mushrooms well. <gasps> oh no! I my method. No! No! <laughs> what did I just... Oh no, I'm passing out. Oh. <laughs> it's just oh, so... My bad. <laughs> it's okay. I just misclicked. It happens to me Wait, all the time. It happens to every. <laughs> That's hilarious. At least you only bombed the crops on the last day. <laughs> oh no, I'm, like, I'm in the farm. At least the chest is still there. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh my god, 55,000 gold. What do we do? Uh, go get bombs. Okay. I have 166 <laughs> bombs. We're going to be teleporting okay. Up, teleporting off to the desert now. All right, I'll be there in just a sec. Right, let's do this. You're going to be so happy with the first level. Is it a sparrow floor? Oh my god. <laughs> How did I know? Oh yes, Emma, it's a treasure room. <gasps> hey. Ooh, 15 cherry bombs, not bad. Not That's bad. pretty good. Energy tonic, right. Bo oh no, my inventory's full. Oh, oh, no, it's 150. Uh, no, I passed out outside. <laughs> quick, Emma, quick, sell the stuff. Just sell it. Oh no. Oh no, you passed out. No, I passed but out, I but uh, I was fed back. I, ha I'm, I haven't passed out because I'm still inside the uh, <laughs> the shipping bin inventory. <laughs> no way. <laughs> I oh, but I think I think that's all I can sell. Um, Literally just the iridium more. Yeah, I think that's it. Moment of truth. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Hey, passed out. That's there we hilarious. go. There's oh, one month color challenge done. Oh, we got an achievement. Farmers had two hundred and fifty k. Nice. <laughs> Amazing. See, that was worth it. Twenty-one thousand nice. gold. Twenty-one thousand. That yeah, it was, that was uh, that's why I tried to like go back up and sell that iridium bar before we went. Let's see how much we made in total in one month. Yes. Start and we and obviously we started from nothing. We could only sell purple items, so you know the challenge the challenge was on. We made two hundred and fifty four thousand nine hundred and sixty one gold. Uh if I got there in time, it would have been another like four thousand. It's winter. <laughs> it is winter. All of our precious eggplants gone. Look at all those sprinklers. They're just so redundant right now, aren't There's they? There's so many sprinklers. Unfortunately, <laughs> they weren't purple, so we couldn't set them. No. <laughs> Imagine. Blowing them all up? Yeah, why not? Ah, that feels so good. <laughs> I mean, I have 106 bombs. What do I do? This what I do. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious. Well, that's one way to till the entire farm. No, the big old farm tilled, ready for spring. <laughs> Brilliant. And there you have it, that finishes up the Colour Picker Challenge. What a collaboration it was, myself and Emolution working together to achieve some great results. We made 255,000 gold by the end of this challenge, which was pretty good for one month's work. So I'm going to see the video there, I hope you enjoyed it. As per usual, the next Stardew Valley video will be uploaded in the next few days for you to enjoy. I hope you have a great week, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.